40 year old stomping grounds. Let's go to the oh, valley. Let's yes. take it to Arizona because the sun. Is that the temperature there? They picked apart <laughs> the Mavericks. We could very well be seeing that in yeah. the finals. Especially if Luka Doncic continues to be the only one to show up for the Mavericks. Hey, look, I, I get it, but this is where you start to see, in my opinion, that that the Dallas Mavericks are an outstanding team, but they are led by Luka Doncic, but they don't have nearly as much as the Phoenix Suns, and they definitely need other people to step up. But if we could just talk about Luka, Different there was shot. no answer for this man at all. He outscored the rest of the Mavericks starters 45 to 39. See, that would be better if he outscored the Phoenix Suns starters. But <laughs> another issue here is that this Dallas Mavericks defense, look at this. This is the start of the third quarter. They gave up 70 points in the first half. You're not going to win playoffs if, you're, if your focus is defense and then this, obviously. Time of death. JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee. <laughs> that was it. I'm going to say this. Larry Fitzgerald in the building. Phoenix loving it. Everyone standing up. Just beautiful. Well, and after last night's performance, Luka Doncic, he's now averaging 33.4 points per <laughs> game in his postseason career. It's just tied with some guy named Michael Jordan for the most in playoff history. So Luka's obviously taking care of business on the offensive end. But after the game, Jason Kidd said the Mavs need just a little bit more from the rest of the team. Yeah, he got whatever he wanted. Um, when you look at the shots, uh, you know, in the paint, behind the arc, mid-range, I thought he played great. And we just got to get help him get someone, you know, to join the party. We now welcome in Zach Lowe. Hello, Zach Lowe with Richard Jefferson and J.J. Redick. So Jason Kidd said Dallas needs somebody else besides Luka to come to the party. So, Zach, starting with you, what Mavs player needs to step up with some party favors to give them a chance against the Suns? It's got to be Spencer Dinwiddie and Jalen Brunson, who were 9 of 24 in game one, because no one else is coming to the party. Luka is a one-man party. Max Kleba did plenty of partying in game one, a lot of long-distance partying. Long Davis distance Bertans, party. he's a party for the other team's offense. It's these two guys that are going to provide scoring. Yeah, Reggie Bullock and Dorian Finney-Smith, you might want a couple more threes, but they're only going to be so much. It has to be those guys driving to the rim, layups, drive and kick, but they discovered right away in game one, life is a little harder against the Phoenix perimeter defense than it is against whatever it was the Utah Jazz were doing against them in the first round. JJ? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Jalen a little bit of a pass here after averaging almost 29 points a game in round one, but I, I agree with Zach. It's those two guys. It's Dinwiddie and Jalen Brunson. They have to be the other shot creators for this team. And I recognize, by the way, I recognize there is a challenge in playing with a player like Luka who has the ball in their hands so much. So it's easy to say somebody else needs to join the party, but Luka is creating for himself and he's primarily creating for spot up threes and lobs. So in the minutes that he's not on or if he takes a possession off, it really is up to those two guys to create offense and score efficiently for this Mavs team. Now, JJ, I, like, I know you way too well to be like, I'm going to give somebody a pass. If you scored, like, I understand he had foul trouble. I understand that. But we don't give a pass for that, not in the postseason. Where I, I like, said it, a little bit of a pass, and then I also Can you hand I, it into a teacher? I, I a little him. bit of a hall pass. I included well, him. What does that mean? You, you, a little no, bit of a pass. You did include him because ultimately that is the only way. We know Luka is the best player on the floor, and we've seen it with LeBron James. We've seen it like, just because you're the best player on the floor, if you're going against the best team in the NBA that it doesn't the best team is going to win so Dallas needs a team effort they need everyone and if Luka has to dial it back and maybe go 35 to make sure that these other guys can have the ball in their hands so they can get I'm not saying Luka did anything wrong that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is that Brunson Dinwiddie they need the ball in their hands a little bit more so that they can get a rhythm because Luka can go and go 45 all he wants don't forget Michael Jordan has the record for most points scored in the postseason against the Boston Celtics and he lost the game. So it can't take individual performances. It's going to take a team effort. So that means everyone has to step up for the Dallas Mavericks. Well, on the other end of the floor, Phoenix, they shot 51% from the field. The mm. Suns have shot 50% or better from the floor in all seven games this postseason, mm. tied for the second longest streak in the shot clock era. So, Zach, what makes the Suns so difficult to defend? Yeah, they never miss. Their shooting is ridiculous, and they just have a lot of pet plays. 
that they make a lot of great decisions out of and they get a lot of clean shots. Here comes, we're going to show, I think, on tape, one of my favorite plays, maybe the best play they run. It's a double drag for Devin Booker. And you see, look, Aiton rolls free to the rim. And after he dunks it here, it's a really hard play to defenders when they want. Finney Smith says, hey, man, you got to be in. You got to be in on the corner. You got to be in from the corner and hit. DeAndre Ayton, so boom, a few minutes later, same set. Here comes Jalen Brunson. Hey, Dead. you want me to be in? I'm in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Corner three. As soon as they saw Jalen Brunson coming in from the corner, Booker whipped the ball to Bridges on the wing over to Cam Johnson, I think it was, in the corner. They just see out of that action, which they run maybe eight, ten times a game, Booker sees everything you're doing and every response you have, he's ready for the right response. If you're not there on DeAndre Ayton, it's a lob. If you're there early, it's a, co a corner pass. If the guy comes in from the other side, it's a three-point shooter from the weak side. They just have every option out of the play. It's a beautiful play. They've got shot making everywhere. And as the Mavs are finding out, and as Jason Kidd said before the series, Ayton can score Pretty easily in the paint, soft touch, great hands. You can't treat him like you treated Rudy Gobert. I've got to say, Zach, that oh no was visceral. I felt that. Oh no! <laughs> I felt that in my soul. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.